okay guys i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that a clockwise couple m 5 newton meter is resisted by the shaft of the electric motor determine the magnitude of the reactive force which act at support a and b so that the resultant of two couple is zero so we have this clockwise couple m whose magnitude is 5 newton meter and these two reactive forces they are producing the counterclockwise moment so the summation of this moment and the counterclockwise moment produced by these reactive forces they cancel out each other so we have to find the magnitude of this so now this means that the resultant the summation of moment that must be equals to zero or we can say that the resultant moment this is equal to zero the magnitude of the resultant moment is equal to zero so now if we apply the summation of moment equals to zero so this r is going to produce the counterclockwise moment and and these two r's they are in the opposite direction so they are producing a couple so the couple magnitude is always uh, the couple due to this r reactive forces is r times d and d is the perpendicular distance between these two uh, reactive forces so we have to find this a b length now we are given this 150 mm the height of the shaft from the ground we are given this so we have this triangle and we are given the 60 degree angle so if this distance is d then this is the half of that d distance so we can say that this is d divided by 2 this distance is d divided by 2 so now if we apply a tan 60 if we look into this triangle and if we apply tan 60 so tan 60 is perpendicular so this is the perpendicular and this is the base so perpendicular is 150 mm and 150 divided by 1000 will give us 0 0.15 meters divided by d divided by 2 the base of the triangle is d divided by 2 so now from this we can say that d divided by 2 is 0 0.15 divided by 1060 or we can say that d is equal to 2 into 0 0.15 divided by 1060 so this will give us the perpendicular distance between these two reactive forces now if we apply the summation of moment about the shaft that will be equal to zero since uh, this is a couple and this is a couple so they are free vectors we can aid them directly so we can say that uh, the moment due to the reactive forces let's say that is mc uh, and that is count that is counterclockwise moment so this is plus these two are producing the counterclockwise moment and this is the clockwise moment so this should be minus so minus that m this is equal to zero or we can say that mc this is equal to m now mc is r times d so this is r times d and this this is given this is given which is 5 newton meter so this is equal to 5 newton meter now we are going to find this r so r will be equal to 5 divided by d so now let's find this d we can find this d so this d is 2 into 0 0.15 divided by 1060 so this is 0 0.173 so and then we have 5 divided by the d so i will write 5 divided by my answer which is uh, the d value so this gives us 28 point this r is equal to 28.5 eight seven newton approximately so if the reactive forces magnitude is equal to 28.87 and they are acting at a distance of uh, 0 0.173 meters so then they will cancel out that uh, clockwise couple uh, at the shaft right so that will cancel out and then the r is equal to 28.87 newton 
Now the next problem is that a twist of 4 Newton meter is applied to the handle of the screwdriver. So here the uh, couple is applied to the handle and that is 4 Newton meter. The magnitude of the couple is given which is 4 Newton meter and its direction is like this. So if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so thumb will point out in this direction. So it is said that resolve this couple moment into a pair of couple forces exerted on the handle and P exerted on the blade. So if the same, if you want to produce the same couple with the help of these two forces at the handle between which the distance is 30 mm. So what will be the magnitude of these F forces? And similarly, if the same 4 Newton meter force, uh, in the, the same 4 Newton meter torque is produced, so how much force is applied at, at this particular point at the blade when the distance between the forces is 5 mm? So again, we know that the moment uh, or we can say that the couple magnitude is always equal to the force times d right so now the the couple is given this magnitude is given this is given this is 4 newton meter so in case of these two forces d is let's say 30 mm let's say that for for f let's say d1 is 30 mm and this is 30 mm and 30 divided by 1000 is 0 0.03 so d1 is 0 0.03 meters so now we can say that f times d1 this is equal to the the couple moment which is 4 so now we can find that we can resolve this couple into forces at the handle right so then this force will be equal to the couple moment divided by d1 now the couple moment is given 4 newton meter right so this is 4 newton meter and d1 is 0 0.03 meter meter will cancel out and we will have the answer in newtons so this is 4 divided by 0 0.03 this gives us force 133.33 newton so 133.33 newton force is required to be applied at the handle in order to produce that 4 newton meter uh, couple then at at the blade at the blade let's say that now d2 is 5 mm and 5 divided by 1000 will give us 0 0.005 meters. Again, using that same formula, we can write that force times D. Now, the force is P times D2. This is again equal to the couple. So, now P couple moment divided by D2. Now, couple moment is 4 and D2 is 0 0.05 meters. So 4 divided by 0 0.005, this will give us 800. So 800 Newton. So you, as we can see that uh, when the distance decreases between the applied forces to produce a couple, the force magnitude increases. For 5 mm, the force need to be applied is 800 Newton. And for 30 mm distance, the perpendicular distance the force required is 133.33 so at handle this much force is required our 4 newton meter uh, couple will will require this much force and at blade uh, 4 newton meter torque will produce this much force at the blade edges so this is the solution of these two problems i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibler Statics.